Hello peeps, um, I'm doing a free to play mini making guide. So the first one we want to do is heal giants. What you'll need is a brass key. Um, that's a very high level, they're only level 28. So you start off at Varrock rank, just under the G. You can either go, you can either use any of these banks, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you want to run past the cooking guild. The guy with a newbie cake in the cape. No. Past the lettuce. And lag out. And we are back. Thank you, Jagex. So, you want to run past here. And open this door. This is where you need the brass key. And I'm doing this on a free to play world. Just to show you literally how many people are here. So, we've got one noob. Two noobs. Three, four five five here six um you can go in here i'm not sure what dung level is required um i don't know so there's six there seven eight nine ten eleven so what you want to do is just come here literally just kill the hill giant thing and pick up the big bones and they are worth 409 so think about that it's uh, quite a bit per event 28 times 409 I'm not even going to try um, so that's the first way oh um, the second way why don't I just go out there as you can see there's um, a couple of noobs running around like here 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 and here so literally all there is is a uh, limp work root spawns uh, here oh, there's one there but that's from the kill because the hill giants drop them as well but limp work roots is about four in this room so there's one there one over there one over there you can see two noobs trying to pick them three noobs trying to pick them up there and one down here so the limp work roots are 1.3k now that's quite a bit uh, it is quite time consuming, it is a lot better than the hill giants and there are a lot of people, noobs, trying to follow you around doing it as well which is quite annoying because you've got to race them and all so you have to, you can't afk it away from keyboard it so the second way, I mean the third way would be to woodcut you trees in Varrock so let's get my hatchet out click the chair to get there Thank you, Run, for being so rubbishy and rubbish. Um, how do you get there? Okay, so we're at the G. I've just walked literally from there to there. And you go out the uh, east side. Run to here. And there is three YouTubes here. There's quite a lot of noobs here as well. So literally all you want to do is, look, I'm 99 world cutting, so I'm getting them pretty fast. But as you can see, 100x, 75x world cutting XP. And U logs. Nope. Stupid price checker. Uh, they are both worth 972 in the end. Which is also pretty decent. So they do respawn pretty quickly. But there is a lot of people here, and sometimes there's lag. I'm on world 106, which is not that big. Used to be, when I was a noob, and not members. Anyway, let's quickly go to my fourth method now. And I'm back. Um, I am at... I'll show you quickly... Uh, Mr. Point, uh, Karam Jar, uh, oh, move too fast. So, literally, uh, you hire a boat from Port Sarim, uh, there. Transportation in the middle there, there's the lodestone. So, you come round here, oh, fudge. Uh, you come round the bottom here, and you end up on this ship here. 
and then you run down here through this gap here and to the fishing spot here and there's two ways of making money here if you don't have the uh, requirements for the fishing and when you do get the, the, the full inventory you come down here uh, not to the shortcut but there's like a way down here there's a guy down here or a bank your fish for you so um where's the fishing gone fishing fishing I'm only level 86 but uh catches alright so there is lobbies at level 40 fishing which is a lobster pot which you'll find at uh, this place and the swordfish and tuna which you get in the same one which is using the harpoon so swordfish is level 50 and tuna is level 35 so 35 uh, you get a lot of tuna when you're doing swordfish but you always get lobster well when you do lobster so those are the levels 35 40 and 50 so you're literally here uh, you want to harpoon. You want to find these harpoon and cage ones where everyone else is, because there's look how many people there is here. Yeah. Well, um, you want to literally just fish the harpoon way, which you get tuna and swordfish, or you cage, which you get lobfish, lob, lob, lobfish, uh, lobbies. When I do get one. Go away phone. Now the phone's been quiet and I've got my lobster. I'll show you how to banknote them. So you want to run. Put run on. You do run out of energy on the, on the journey there and back. So you want to run through this gap here. And on the north side of these rivers. You just really want to run through here. and down here and so you get to this styles guy so you want to exchange the styles and he, he turns all your fish that you've caught into notes which is awesome because you can just run back in there so I've got 40 for the journey back and it took me 60 there so I'm not going to make it in one run but when you do get an inventory it, it regains the run until you do make a new journey so um, that's the fourth and fifth way. Um, oh, these are seventy-nine tuna. Oh, I didn't catch a swordy. I'll show you how much they are in a minute. One hundred and thirty-two for the lobsters. There we go. Got one. Uh, one hundred thirty-two for them and something for them. And two hundred twenty-one for the swordfish. So they're pretty decent. Um, get you fishing and level up as well and the next two methods my final two are mining I'll quickly go to there and tell you where it is so this is where you get the clay from as you can see uh, three noobs here four noobs here all trying to do the same thing so literally all you do is stand here and get clay sick as you can see it's really hard because everyone there's loads of people here even though I'm really high oh my god this is really annoying there we go I got one so literally 130 each one I am um, here um, I'll turn that off so I am uh, next to champion skills uh, under Varrock there, there's a lodestone. And the bank you want to go to is just right down there, and th this is the bank here. Bank. Um, so, don't have time to wait. God. Um, you want to, no, you don't want to run back. Uh, when you've got a full inventory, you want to run down here <sighs> la 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 um, and go to the bank up here 
By the way, um, you do not need the rune hatchet, tools, fly fishing rod, fishing rod, cage, harpoon. You don't need any of those tools in your inventory again, because Jadex um, got this tool belt. So there's a pickaxe, uh, there's a hatchet, and you know, fishing. Uh, there's the harpoon and there's the lobster pot. So, just bank all the stuff in there. Uh, my last one would be mining iron under Falador. So, I'll show you how to get there in one second. So, you teleport to Falador, the lodestone, and you want to run uh, south. Uh, you want to run south, uh, down here, La past the bank here, which is where you'll bank, oh no, no you don't have to bank there, if you've got really low dungeoneering level then you'll have to bank in that bank there, but there is a deposit box, that, uh, deposits, deposit box down there now, so it's really easy to mine, but you need, um, it's in a dungeoneering place. But the annoying thing is, it doesn't show you where, um, it doesn't tell you the level that, when you go on there. So, climb down the stairs, so I'm not sure what dungeon level you have to do to get in there. I think it is really, really low. So, in here, uh, you can see there's two irons here, so you want to stand in the middle here. And, mine, really, 35, mine in XP. Uh... They're 152 each, and it's really fast. Even at the same level iron is at, which is at iron ore level 15 mining, and it's really good. There was also coal at level 30. Quickly show you coal. Like loads of people get coal. You see, like there's a, there's one they missed, but like it's really common for people to get coal because it is worth a bit and this is all coal here except for a mithril over there uh, that 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 and that which is mithril but I'll show you how much coal is 217 inch which is pretty awesome as well uh, also here there is gold which is level 40 I think this is two gold here and beware of the king and king scorpions and scorpions they do attack you if you're low level so um, just bring a weapon just in case you're a noob and these take a bit longer to mine I'm um, 75 mining and 65 XP they are 262. Also, uh, level 70. 70? Was it 75? Um, there's adamantite, which you can mine, and mithril. Um, there's more two I three iron there, which is also quite good. But literally, this is where the bank thing is. So you come in the mysterious entrance. And there's a deposit box right there. So you just want to deposit all your rubbish that you don't need. There is one, two, three, four, five, six mithril in here. Three silver, which I'm not sure how much silver is. Which is 128. It's not that good. Uh, but this all down here is coal. So literally, you just wanna just mine the coal down here because this is the best place. There's a lot more people. Well, there's not a lot more people. But there is a lot of people here. So that's all coal down there. Um, I suppose that's it. I uh, hope you find this useful. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe, please.